Hello, uh, this presentation is to help you with Unit 7 European Destinations. Um, this, this PowerPoint presentation is a guide to completing P1, locating all countries within Europe, key gateways, which means the key airports, um, Eurostar terminals and ports, and key leisure destinations um, within the European travel market in each country. So it is P1 that we're looking to complete. That's the assignment, P1. Apologies for my bad um, scrolling around. But um, there's going to be three more assignments to complete. Um, but this is um, a relatively straightforward exercise, which is pretty similar to the exercise that you did on Unit 3 when you when you're drawing maps using maps of the United Kingdom. So I provided you and sent you a map of Europe, the same as this. And the first task I want you to do is to label all the countries on the map. Uh, to help you, um, being such a nice bloke, I have um, given you a map that can help you Put down the countries in Europe. Now the first task that you've got to complete is that you've got to label each country whether it's a European Union country, whether it's a Eurozone country or whether it's a Schengen country. Now all the there's currently 28 countries in the European Union that's what EU stands for the uh, United Kingdom, as you're aware, has voted to leave and may be leaving in January 2021. But as yet, we do not know that. So you've got to la um, label all the EU countries. The Eurozone countries, they are all the countries that have the euro as a currency. And then you'll notice that when you travel to maybe France, if you travel to France or Germany or Greece, you will be you use a euro in that country so those are all the eurozone countries the Schengen countries it's just um there's 28 of them um and you, you can see that they overlap that was what the countries were formed before the european union so what you've got to do when you print out your blank european map provided and you've labeled you put all the countries on then you label them in such a way. So if it's an EU country, you put down EU next to it, an EZ, Eurozone, and S for Schengen countries. So for instance, if you look at France, it was a member of the European Union. They have a, um, the, the currency is the Euro, and they were, they were originally of the Schengen countries. If you was doing this for Great Britain, for example, the United Kingdom, um you would just label it eu because for now anyway we're a member of the european union then what you've got to do um print out another map and this is where we start to put in the key gateways these are sort of the transport hubs in the in each country so you print out a blank map and then for each country you write down what is the bit the most um, busiest airport so you just search the country busiest airport in france and each country has an iata code now what you to find that out you just type in um for you once you found the airport you just type in ita code paris charles de gaulle airport on the internet and it will give you the the code which is generally a three letter code and then this one example is cdg which obviously stands for charles de gaulle so then you've got to make sure you put it on the right place on the map so there were the arrow as you can see that is where paris is and then that's where paris charles de gaulle airport is so you repeat the process for all the countries, all the European countries on the map. Then for the 
then you write then you find the the busiest port in the area in the country and then and then you do exactly the same thing so in france the busiest port is le havre and then you just again you label it in the correct area where le havre is and you do the you do the same for every country on the um in europe now clearly countries that are landlocked such as switzerland and austria will not have ports so you got for a port you clearly need to have a coast and then on the same map uh, put the main eurostar terminals so just do a search on eurostar destinations and then put those onto the map so you should have a map with all the tr uh, all the key gateways on it if you're struggling for space just have maybe a separate map for um, airports and then one for ports and then euro stars uh, terminals but try and get all the key gateways on one map then you get, you print out a new map for task three and this is where you start to, where you put all the leisure destinations on it so what you've got to do you've got to show examples of beach resorts winter sports resorts which is which are ski resorts countryside areas major city break areas and cruise areas now i have given you the examples of what i want you to do so the major um, beach resort areas in in europe are what i've put there france spain portugal italy greece croatia and bulgaria and cyprus what i want you to do is just pick a seaside resort in each of those countries and put and locate and and tell me where it is and then the ski resorts i want you those are the major ski res resorts so find a ski resort in italy and place it correctly in the map same in france austria switzerland norway and bulgaria uh, the countryside area so label the following areas the that you see there the austrian wine region provence etc you also need to put in the major city break areas so i want to see those on the map dublin copenhagen prague tallinn barcelona berlin paris london and milan those are your major city break areas and then areas that are very popular for cruises they include nice dubrovnik zadar bergen lisbon rome athens and qatar so you then you've got to find what find where those are on the in europe and correctly place them on the map as and i and you make sure you're using the correct keys so away so you just put a b for the beach resorts w for the winter resorts c for the countryside area c y for city breaks and c r for cruise areas then once you've put all the resorts on the map that i've given you you've got to make sure there's at least two leisure destinations in each european country so you'll have some countries that will will have two destinations already places in um certainly spain italy uh, france all have um two places um so but there's going to be some which may have one or may have none and then when what you've got to do uh, you've got to find um two examples from the list of beach resorts um uh, winter resorts um countryside cruise and city breaks for each country so what i would what you should do is just do a search on popular um tourist activities in Slovenia, for example and there might be a countryside area there uh, for, uh, near a place called lake bled there may be a um, a famous city break so then just find the correct one and make sure they're labeled onto the map so once you have done that this is the exam board um 
requirement to make sure that you've done. So just sort of check that. So using the, the, the outline maps that you've been given on Europe, um, you, have you coded the European Union countries, the Schengen countries and Eurozone countries were with EU, S and EZ. The location of key gateways should be evidenced in the same format, at least one uh, gateway with a code per country, one seaport where, where applicable, obviously is what we said before, per country, the countries like Austria don't, will not have a port, and the Eurostar terminals. And then the location of key leisure destinations should be evidenced in the same format, at least two per countries, and the evidence as a whole must cover all leisure destination types. So the beach resorts, the winter resorts, countryside areas, and uh, city breaks and cruise areas. So once that is done, uh, then you can send the work. You've completed it and you can send it to me. Okay. Thank you.